Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and get started with today's reading. It is Friday, 26th of May. The announcements first, the daily news is up. The link is in the description box for this video per usual, or you can send an email to yourangelicarma at gmail.com for purchase options. Let's go ahead and get started. Show me the overall energy for today. Friday, 26th of May. May 26th, Friday, overall energy. Let's see, overall energy for today. Let's see. We have time to go. Getting things done, getting things completed. You had a four and a five, the nine. You, you've left something. Something is completed. Something is done. It's come to ending. You know, is the balance is here like that. This is something that is balanced that is coming. It's time for you to head out. You're like, I'm heading out now like that. And we have Treasure Island. We have another nine. We had 45, which is a nine. Then we have another nine here. So we have this completion. Something has got you moving. Let's see. Show me the energy. Plans underway. The why? Okay. So something is made clear. There's a reason why you're headed out. There's a reason why you're gone. There's a reason why you're like um, moving forward, moving on is what I'm getting with this here. You have milk and honey. Very positive energy. With milk and honey. You have blessed. And you have the be fair. So the balance is here. The karmic balance. The scales have been balanced. Now let's move on. So some of you can be feeling quite blessed. You have milk and honey here. Stand in front of a mirror and say to yourself. I am worthy of all the good things that I dream about. That's with blessed. And you are worthy. Don't chase your dream. Learn to appreciate the present moment. When your dreams do come true, you have learned to enjoy the moment instead of reaching for the next dream instead. Teach your mind to rest in the moment. I feel that some of you could feel quite positive. That um, like you, you could feel quite positive. You could feel highly protected. You could feel that you are more than worthy like that and there's a reason with this why that you're feeling this way there could be a much to up down we could be regarding we could be talking about whatever here we attract what we are therefore dreaming is a journey within what inner beliefs are still restricting you putting you down and making excuses that hold you back from your dreams we do attract what we are and we're going to be, I, I, we would trap what we are. That's for the negative and the positive. Or it's just, we're matched up correctly. We will trap what we are. We're just speaking in any sense of the word I am. That is most definitely true. So let's move on here. So let's see. And that's why you had that time to go and all of that. You're getting gone. And there's a reason with the book. There's something that has completed with the two nines. We're going to add the practical matters here today. And what I mean by practical, I mean by money. Today, usually I'm talking about anything that you're experiencing. But today I'm meaning by something more specific. And you're worthy of it. Like that, we had a page of pentacles. We had a tower. The Eight of Cups, see, you're gone. The Eight of Cups is you, you're gone with the Tower. And Judgment, Final Decisions, Finales. These are climaxes here. And it's, this is my I Had a Dream card. It's like that dream went up in smoke because it was like not, it, because it was karmic. This is a karmic energy here because you had judgment. And you use your better judgment. You use your better judgment. Something is over. Something is completed. This could be in any area of your life, even though I want to pick up on finances. So I don't know what this would be about. But it, it definitely um, helps you to move forward 
it it concludes something there's the money right there so this could be something completely different we have a king of swords here and then we had a will of fortune and we had a strength and we had an empress whenever i see the string card i know the devil was somewhere lurking that's stuck and restricted you're not stuck and restricted that tower is that awakening in that book the reason and that you is time to go like that some of you have a windfall of money windfall of abundance coming in some type of major contract um, that you have to sign some type of paperwork, financial contract, financial paperwork coming in that you have to sign. The King of Swords denotes official business, some type of job opportunity that you would be saying yes to, some type of opportunity that you're going to say yes to because it comes with the will of fortune and you're seen as the Empress. So this King of Swords sees your Empress qualities. It could be like a job, business, um, contractual agreements, things you have to find, sign, paperwork. You're in a position of strength because you're seen as the empress, but it's after you walked away and left something like that. And you have a reason why you left it. You have a reason why something culminated the way that it did, but that it ties time to go like that. And you headed out and that was the, the completion, the icing on the cake regarding closure with that situation. But then you have this king of swords. The king of swords could be a person of any sign, but it denotes somebody that is, this king of swords is positive because it has the will of fortune in the, um, Ace of Pentacles around it and the Empress and the Strength. That's the only reason this King of Swords is positive. This King of Swords is, it sees the Empress as the Empress, all the quasi characteristics that the Empress brings to the table. The Empress is all the Queens of One and sees the value in that. It's offering something tangible. It could be your boss at your job, offering some type of financial contract, some type of raise or promotion, or some type of financial dealings that is contractual and something you have to sign um, is what is on offering. You have it with the Will of Fortune, Abundance, Divine Timing. And it's very significant and positive here. So let's move on. Now we're going to move on to romance. Adding that back in for today, Friday. Show me Friday romance here. Show me love and romance here for Friday. Twenty sixth of May. We had a five of pentacles, a page of cups, death, something is over, the high priest, the high priest knows pretty much everything is the book here also is a strong, deep intuition a, a knowing that it goes above and beyond intuition. Be careful of somebody trying to crawl into your energy that is out. You have a king of wands here, a Sagittarius or Aries, sun, moon, rising man, or just a masculine. This is something regarding oral sets here. You have a five of wands, a man watching like that. This competition around a relationship, a truth is come, has come out like that. And then we have the tower. It's like you know, you know, on it. And then we have the queen of swords here. Now, so uh, true, something has got somebody to head the hell out. I'm telling you, you know, it's like they're like dipping. It, I don't know what it is, but it's the tower. We had a queen of swords here. Somebody could, this is this one here that is watching has information. This could be the king of swords, has information. This could be some of you because that intuition came up with the high priestess and more than intuition. This could be a high level spirit guy. Now, it would be a high level one because what the, the high priestess is knowing all, as I stated. But then you have the king of swords showing up positive. The king of swords for me is usually negative. But this king of swords represents communication and something that he knows. This is the queen of swords about the king. Knowing something about the king of swords or knowing something about somebody because this degree, the king of swords here. Or knowing about something about something. Now, there's a man that know uh, if if it's not a high level spirit guy, it would be, it would not be a high level spirit guy. Spirits of guys are nice like that, cause they come in with fast, quick in intuition. Um, high level guardians could be kings like that. Now, so this could be an actual man that knows something about something, and it's like feeding information, or you're energetically connected to them, or you're you just have a powerful. Knowing some of you are highly connected, it ends a situation. Somebody may try to sneak into your energy; they're not going to be able to get in it. Not because because of what you know now, what you find out, you're headed out like that. It's like that something is is culminated and climaxed here like that. Some of you have, may have had um um men competing for you or something. Cause you have this one, 
not being able to say anything, wanting to speak but can't speak. Maybe he can't speak because of something he's done. Some, maybe he can't speak because something that's about him that is known. Maybe he can't speak because of his past behavior. And, and, but then, then this is you in a positive relationship like that. It's like, and he can't say anything about it. He may be sneaking into your energy for sex. Someone is like, I don't know, you know, it's like that. But it was enough for you to get you to head it out. You're not waiting around for answers and questions. Answering questions or answering anything like that. Show me the, um, you closed that brute. That was enough for you to close it. Show me the, um, whatever that tower was about. Show me the angel message. If you believe there's something better, obviously, big happy changes that something better is coming through, and opportunity. There's some type of opportunity for a big happy change, for some type of shift, and we have perfect timing. Okay. So this is quite positive. Okay, everyone, until next time, very elusive reading. Thanks for watching. It's going to be different for all of you. Bye.